Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to do a video and talk a little bit about how therapy has been going for me lately, as I promised a couple of videos ago. So I have done 10 therapy sessions so far, and well, they've all been going well. Like, it's been very helpful for me. I've learned a lot about my mental health. I've had some confirmations about certain aspects of my mental health, which I will talk about probably in a separate video. But most importantly, I wanted to talk about something that I've learned about myself. Well, maybe not learned, maybe something that I've, I'm revisiting about myself. And it was largely talked about on Friday. And it is the fact that I'm a workaholic. I have a full-time job and a part-time job on top of it. And I have a very well, now a flourishing creative life, which has kind of taken on a job aspect of its own. So, like, I am constantly doing a lot of work. I, I have a very huge workload, and if you're very close to me, you're very much well aware of it because it might prevent me from responding to a message immediately. It might re prevent me from doing something, or, you know, whatever. And it, I really didn't think it was a huge problem until... I had conversations with my partner about it because I've always worked a lot and I and when I became a teacher I knew that school would come home with me upgrading lesson planning responding to emails but when the pandemic started and everything became remote I feel like it take it took on a more huge insidious form in the sense that now that I can't physically leave a place, I can't go home and be rid of the majority of my work. I have come to the realization that I've been working 14 to 16 hour days a lot of the time. Over the, During weekends, I've been staying up till 9 or 10 responding to emails. I've been constantly thinking about work barely getting sleep and it, of course that's it's been starting to inversely affect my mental health and I guess I needed somebody to kind of like shake me and be like Donnie like what are you doing like you're doing way too much and of course my therapist I mean we had a conversation together and she was like well, Donnie you need to learn how to say no to people and truthfully that is the root of the problem. I don't say no to people when they ask me to do things because I believe that if I don't do what they want me to do, how they want me to do it, it means that I've exhausted my value and they'll either leave me or not want anything to do with me or not believe in me or my capabilities. I've always had this problem since I was in college because the truth is I've had two jobs most of my life and in all reality I only need one now financially I still have two because of my you know I don't know like I don't want to disappoint people so I need to load up on the work as much as I think I can humanly take and I somehow for some reason think that I am humanly able to do ridiculous amounts when I shouldn't have to. But the truth is, like, as much as that's mentally exhausting for me, it's more than just work. It's like, it also bleeds into social life. I, like, I, I use social media very avidly, and as much as I love social media, it becomes kind of a hindrance because people expect immediacy. And... I try my hardest to be encouraging to everyone in my life. I, I want to invest myself in their creativity, their what they're doing, things happening in their lives. And I fall short more than I'd like to admit because I'm always trying not to, you know. For example, like a couple of days ago, I had a friend message me and they tried messaging me a month ago and I never responded and I finally responded 
because they were seeming upset and said, well, why haven't you responded to me in like a month? And I explained to them, you know, my job and everything. And their response was they wanted me to do something for them. They wanted me to go look at something or go respond to something or go share something. And when I realized it was only that, it made me feel like I'm not carrying enough, that I'm not being a good enough friend, that, that I'm not enough, you know? And it's, it's a very complex insecurity and I really need to work on it. And I don't want anybody listening to this video thinking that it's them that I'm referring to because it's probably not. Uh, because most of the people who watch my videos are pretty pretty well aware of, you know, my workload and so on and so forth. But I've been very on the edge of burning out, um, at least on the social front. Creatively, I'm doing fine. Like, like doing my creative writing, doing the podcast, like in all those areas, I'm perfectly fine. But when it comes to what I think as maintaining my worth, to people in my life, whether it be work people or friends. That's what, that's what's so difficult. I have this like unrealistic expectation of perfection that I set on myself and that prevents me from telling people no and establishing my boundaries. <laughs> anyway, it's going to take a long time for me to get through it, but if you are one of those people in my life and maybe I haven't responded to a message quickly or maybe I haven't followed up with something or maybe I'm a little scattered, I forget certain things, thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for believing in me regardless. And thank you for understanding that that this is a very difficult thing for me to navigate. Sorry, that was the dog. Very difficult thing for me to navigate in the sense of balancing myself and knowing what I can take on and what I can't. Anyway, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And... Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Bye.